Saturday. Um, I just got off the uh, phone with my mom. I'm doing one of my favorite uh, 50 minute activities of a little uh, purge. So I'm kind of going through and getting rid of some more um, little samples that I don't use and I'm going to take them to uh, donate to a women's shelter if there's things in here that I haven't opened. Um, but you guys are always asking me to recommend prod uh, like brands and stuff um, and honestly I um, you know as far as brands to me it doesn't really matter I don't have a lot of brand loyalty <clears throat> it's more about the ingredient and I don't think you should spend a lot of money for skincare um, but one brand I guess I would say that I really really do like a lot is called Vanny Cream V-A-N-I C-R-E-A-M completely inert it is essentially just a bland a thick and greasy moisturizer Vanny cream it comes in a tub it has no preservatives or kind of ingredients that you could potentially uh, that could potentially be irritating to you and this company also makes a line of shampoos and conditioners and all sorts of skincare uh, products that are completely free of dyes fragrance masking fragrance lanolins parabens formaldehydes all the potential offenders uh, and potential sensitizers they're just great for people with eczema, but just great in general. And this is one product that I happen to love, guys. It's called uh, Vanny Ply Ointment Dimethicone, which is a great skin protectant. And I, I love to use this on my lips. I completely forgot I had this. and I've used it before, so I'm obviously not going to donate it. I'm just going to keep it in my bag um, so that I uh, remember to... Uh, to use it as a as a lip moisturizer. Y'all know that at nighttime I've been using my Neutrogena Oil Free Moisturizer and I really love it. But another one that I just keep in my um, travel bag so I never forget about it is the CeraVe PM. I like this one too. Uh, it has, uh, it won't irritate you. And this one has ceramides, which are helpful for restoring the skin barrier. It has hyaluronic acid, which is a humectant so the, if you put it onto wet skin, it will help hold on to that water and help it stay in your skin. So I like that for normal to dry skin. Someone was asking me about a moisturizer too for um, dry skin over 50 or something. This would be a great one. Oh, and another one that I just keep in my uh, toiletry bag that I like but is very expensive, maybe a little bit too expensive, but I, I really like it, is the La Roche-Posay. I like this La Roche-Posay Effaclair Duo. It has 5.5% benzoyl peroxide. I just keep this in my travel toiletry bag. Um, Tony Sedalis was talking about this in um, one of her recent videos, um, so I wanted to bring it up here. I really actually do like this a lot. It has 5.5% benzoyl peroxide, which is great, and it also has a little bit of um, hydroxy acid in it to kind of help exfoliate, so I think this is a good one, and, and the formula is well tolerated. I mean, it's pricey, but um, you know, I think it's a, it's a good one. I like it, and I I've had it for a while and you don't the thing about this guys is um, it's an it, so this is 1.35 fluid ounces you don't need very much of this on your face this will last you a long time like you shouldn't be putting gobs of this all over your face you should just use a small amount and this will last you a long time so it's a good investment I think um, if you like it um, but bear in mind the active ingredient is the 5.5% the benzoyl peroxide so um, that's a good one hey YouTube so I am a uh, en route to uh, get a little uh, lunch. But yeah, someone was asking me a great question. They said, I work, at work I'm in front of a window. Do I need to wear sunscreen? Absolutely. So UVB is the part of the sun that is most damaging to the DNA in your skin cells and it hits the top layer of your skin. Probably contributes the most to skin cancers. UVA, however, um, penetrates much deeper into our skin and it contributes to aging. It damages the collagen. Now your windows will block UVB, okay? Your windows do not block UVA. So you want to make sure you're using a zinc or titanium dioxide sunscreen all the time because that UVA is going to come in through that window. It's going to penetrate deeper into the skin. It will penetrate deeply into the skin and damage the collagen framework. Uh, so absolutely wear sunscreen every day. Air day. Hey guys, I'm here to check out this vegan buffet that I've heard about. It's an Asian vegan buffet. Pepper tree veggies. So that's where we're at. Alright, so the veggie game here is very serious. It's like 
like steamed spinach and um, I think this is like some sort of uh, shredded cabbage maybe, very finely shredded, like cucumber. This is completely vegan, guys, completely vegan. Um, some sort of little veggie fritter. And look at this like funny sushi with the purple rice. Squash. And then this is some sort of vegan meat. I have no idea what it is, but I thought I'd try it, so. It all looks really awesome. Oh, and then there's some, some sort of vegan beef thing, too. <laughs> so, I'm excited. Oh my god, guys, that was so good. I think I just ate my weight in steamed kale. What an excellent uh, brunch that was. But apparently this is gonna be the weekend of me observing thievery. I witnessed an example of cheapskates behaving badly. Make us all look bad. So it's a buffet. And granted, it's a little on the pricier side for most buffets, but it's all you can eat vegetables. Like, you cannot buy that many vegetables in the grocery store for what the buffet costs. I know because of how I shop. Um, not to mention all of the interesting vegan uh, uh, vegan um, dishes they had prepared there. These two girls come in and they go up and one says, I'll have the buffet, and the other goes, oh, I'm not ordering, I I've already eaten. Fine. Then the gal who ordered proceeds to let the other gal eat off of her plate. And I could see, oh, I want to try one or two bites, maybe you could get away with that. But no, the other girl definitely ate a plate's worth of food in the time that I was sitting there. And it's like, that's stealing. And for a restaurant to have a buffet like this, and this isn't just like some massive chain restaurant. This is obviously a little mom and pop shop, you know. And I don't know if they intervened or what, and I left. But I just, you know, that's stealing. But anyways, I'm here at uh, Bearings Hardware and Gifts. I've been wanting to check this place out for some time. So I need a mason jar, and that's why I'm here. Oh my god, why have I never come in here before? It's so cool. Got like tons of cute um, housewares and stuff. You have got, you need to get like a little, um, you can get like a little coffee shop where you can get chocolates and stuff and make gift baskets. And uh, apparently, this was the right place to come for mason jars. See, I didn't want to buy a whole case of mason jars because I ain't gonna be canning stuff. Um, but I got the 32 ounce one I went in there for. And tell me this is not odd. This one was $1.99. And then I also got a smaller one, which was also $1.99. Like, don't, it seems like the smaller one should be, I don't know, $1.50 or something. I mean, I'm not going to cry about a pint versus the other one, but aren't they cute? Very versatile, so I'm glad I was able to get one of each, you know, on a whole set, but yeah, that place was like sensory overload. They had fine china, luggage, um, gifts, stationery, chocolate, coffee, hardware, you name it. They had a little bit of everything all kind of rolled up into one. Very well um, curated, a unique uh, store for sure. But anyway, I'm here at the uh, at the, I'm here at the uh, country club, Costco. Um, so I've got to get my membership fee worth. And all right, guys. All right, guys. So I'm here in Costco, and guess what? My girl Carol Hawkins, she's got scoop neck tanks on. I bet these are awesome. Ooh, I can feel this one through the packaging. It feels great. This rock retinol correction cream, right? Deep, deep wrinkle daily moisturizer, all right? They're marketing this as retinol correction, okay? And oh look, it happens to have SPF 30 in it. Nobody's paying attention to that, right? Flip on over to the back side. What is the active ingredient, guys? Avabenzone, homosalate, octocrylone, oxybenzone. These are all the sunscreen ingredients. Those are the active ingredients, okay? Inactive ingredients. Towards the tail end of the inactive ingredient list is retinol, okay? Yes, this contains retinol. Yes, it's deep wrinkle preventative and that it's a broad spectrum sunscreen, but don't be duped. This is not a retinoid cream, okay? 
Um, the retinol component of this is probably trace, and it requires your skin to activate it. Something to be aware of. I'm sure that's a great sunscreen. SPF 30 is good. Those are good chemical sunscreen ingredients. Um, there's nothing wrong with that product, but I just want you to be aware of how marketing. Just don't fall for marketing things like that. Because essentially all that is is sunscreen. Well, hey guys, I am uh, back from Costco, and I did in fact pick up uh, Carol's uh, Jazzy Scoop Neck Tank, so I'm loving the way the uh, feel action is here. It's nice. After up titrating the Adapalene last night, my skin still feels really good, guys. Really good. Like, I shampooed my hair two nights ago, not last night, but the night before, with that Desert Essence uh, gluten-free shampoo, and I'm still liking the way my hair feels, guys. Um, it's not weighted down or greasy or anything like that, and, um, it's, so that's nice. Um, but anyways, I got my, uh, sparkly soul headband on here. I love these. This is the New York one. <laughs> that's where we're at. I'm gonna go for a little, uh, mixy mashy up hit cardio, I think, and some weights, and, uh, then hit the shower. We're going again. The up titration went well, right? No erythema, no redness, uh, no peeling. Um, I still feel like this is doing something. So to remind you, makeup came off, moisturizer on. Now we will grease the orifices. So you all clarified the uh, question about medical skincare, and um, as I suspected. So thank you for, for clarifying that, and I will address it now. Skin care that contains ingredients that have some biologic basis in potentially improving the look or appearance of, of your skin. Um, I call it luxury skin care. Um, Obagi, um, LTMD, this is my luxury sunscreen, guys. Um, it's just zinc or titanium dioxide with a little tint in it. Um, this is 30 bucks. That's expensive for a sunscreen. Um, but I like it. I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels. Um, I haven't found a tinted moisture. I haven't found a tinted zinc titanium dioxide based sunscreen that uh, goes on as nicely as this or that I use as consistently as this. So, yeah, I mean, I fork out the 30 bucks for this. Any beauty guru on YouTube could probably school me into a drugstore and locate the exact same thing for a fraction of the price that I'd be just as happy with. But it's no better than any other zinc or titanium dioxide based sunscreen in terms of uh, blocking the sun. You know, another one is Obagi. They've got a uh, three part medical grade acne care um, trifactor or something. But the key ingredients, guys, are my players here uh, benzoyl peroxide, see Zabs at $7.99. Um, and uh, Obagi's three part skincare uh, trifecta, I think, is 100 and something. So, um, but here's the thing I mean, Zaps, it's not sexy, you know? And if you like luxury things um, and you like those products and you use them and find that they give you benefit, then, then by all means. But they have ingredients in them and they claim that they're effective. But here's the reality they're not, the concentrations of those ingredients, things like polyphenols, uh, you know, green tea. The concentrations of those ingredients are not regulated by the FDA. Um, they have not undergone the same kind of, of testing as um, to confirm that, that that's what's actually in them. We don't know that we don't know what the effective concentration of those ingredients should be to have any effect on your skin. So it's hard to say that those creams are anything more than zaps it. Um, but if you like them and you find that they're giving you benefit and you're using them consistently, then by all means continue to use them. But no, I don't think you need that. You could see active ingredient adapalene, 0.1%. So, you know that's the good stuff. Well, anyways, guys, I um, hope you all had a great Saturday and enjoyed the vlog. I'm going to conclude it here. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.